Shalom. I want to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. That's the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, whom we praise. Shalom and double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well over the flock. Also, Shalom, salutations to brothers out here that's pushing the words of truth and sincerity. Shalom to all the elect Hakim and elect Akwa out there. All right, so Second uh, Timothy's three, third chapter, um, just continuing off with the same topic of difficult times coming. All right, let's let's gird our, up our loins like men and seek to um, meditate um, and wrap our minds around the idea that there are difficult times ahead for believers, great insurrections upon the people that fear the Lord. There's just great difficult times ahead for everyone. All right. You know, especially especially those of the um, of the belief of the faith. So second timothy's three and one and then i'll jump down it says this also know that in the last days perilous times shall come perilous means full of danger and risk these are serious risky times all right that are ahead of us why because they're dangerous all right you can lose your life in them okay and there's a lot of people that's going to turn away from the faith you have to be steadfast you have to be girded up you have to be rooted and built up you yourself have to be of a sound doctrine, all right? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Without these things, don't expect any type of stability in the turbulent times ahead, right? Verse 10, but thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra. These are all the places that Paul visited and teach that and taught what persecutions I endured. But out of them all, the Lord delivered me. So Paul is speaking as a man with experience as far as persecution goes. And all he was doing was teaching doctrine. All he was doing was uh, living righteous and pious amongst those who believed. Likewise, amongst those who did it. All he was doing was having purpose. And directing his faith towards the father using charity and patience amongst brethren but still persecutions and afflictions still he had to endure so if that's the spirit that paul wrote to timothy about how much more should we understand amongst each other amongst the body that the body's going to suffer yahweh shah suffered the body suffered right just know if they persecute you know that they persecuted me first Right The world loves its own You are not of the world Therefore the world hate of you Right Verse um, 12 Is a point Yea And all that live godly In Yahweh Now this ain't according to Those that live in ungodly Right This ain't according to the hypocrites Who are gonna skim me out of And skirt out of Different persecutions Whenever things get hot They're like the seeds That were sown on you know rough ground and by the wayside and things get a little persecution of rise and their stony ground won't allow them to t their, their, their root right to be strong enough to deal with um the elements and so they'll die off right the, you, we understand that the parable of the sower was dealing with the mentality in your mind and how this seed either benefits you the seed of wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the bible either benefits you and takes root in your mind or it's pushed out of your mind because the world gets in the way and begins to interfere and satan begins to interfere right the spiritual demon satan working on your mind tempting you and so again verse 12 yea and all that live godly in yahweh shall, shall, shall suffer persecution but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So there's a threat that's constantly involved with the elect men and women who return back to the father through the son with the Holy Spirit. Because there's a desire, according to Romans, the first chapter, last three verses to unroot. Right, unroot the 
the true believers and worshipers in spirit and in truth. There is a desire amongst evil men and seducers. And they become more enraged as time goes on at what they're seeing. This truth, the, the house of David beginning to flourish, the body starting to come back together, the life of, you know, the prophets, the life of men who are teaching sound doctrine being, you know, un, untouched, so to speak. And, you know, here we are suffering, but still enduring. This is enraging them now, you know. There's a lot of evil men and seducers out there who are witnessing, our, our, you know, this thing grow. You know, the house of David grow. And it's causing them to be, they never thought it was even going to last this long. You know, they've seen trends come around. They figured it was a cult. Some of them figured, well, they don't, you know, they don't make enough money. They're bums, but they didn't recognize that Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, was working through us to push this word. And the true believers is going to return regardless. So when it tells you, but evil men shall and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived, that's their main job. They're deceived and they'd rather have company with them. You see a lot of fallouts usually find somebody to grab and pull with them out. Verse 14, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of. And that's what we rest in our beliefs on, things that we're sure of, right? You have to be assured. And the word assure means tell someone something positively or confidently to dispel any doubts any doubts um, confident um, protected against discontinuance or change a short so your mind isn't go back and forth about the faith that you have in the heavenly father you consistently and constantly believe unwavering not as a, a double minded man who sometimes has loyalty to the father and sometimes doesn't it says, but continue down in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. So you can see the trend is to dispel or condemn or mock or completely like so hatred towards your elders and apostles and leaders and men over you. And that becomes trendy in Israel because Israel's a, rep a reprobate, hard headed group of individuals trying to turn back to a holy and pious thing and haven't put off that old man yet there he is he creeps right back up and what do you get you get a recipe for disaster and unruliness and disobedient children right but it tells you in the scriptures paul wrote to timothy knowing of whom thou has learned them so it's very appropriate and orderly to remember who your teachers are and show reverence to them Verse 15, and that from a child that has known that the whole known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, which is in Yahweh Shai. So it's this wisdom that we have. It's this salvation saving knowledge that we have and obtain in these last days that ultimately wax uh, evil people want to uproot. All right, they're deceived and they want more to be deceived with them. It's a lonely road for some of them. Now, when I get this in the NLT, which I must just read it. It says here in 2 Timothy 3 and 12. Yea, and every one who wants to live a godly life in Yahweh will suffer persecution. But evil people and evil and people and imposters will flourish. All right, pretenders, imposters, hypocrites, those that say they love the father but don't. Why do you have to watch out for somebody like that? Because they're not rooted themselves. All right, you know, you have the show called Man, what's the name of it? I just started watching the pilot. It's called, um, bear with me, I'm gonna check it out. Let me see what's the name of the show. 
I don't work. You know, it's something that women would probably really enjoy. It's called Ruthless, and it's a it's a Tyler Perry uh, show, I guess, on BT Prom. I don't know. I'm I'm paying. I'm I'm not paying for it. And it's it, it's about like a cult, and these people go into the cult, and the cult is all Jake, of course, and the leader is like this guy who believes he's the Messiah, or you know. And everybody's in the groups following him and they got women and children, but what they really are some type of sex ring or like, you know, child trafficking. So, you know, imagine Tyler Perry's wet dream, right? And um and there's a lot of people in there who kind of don't believe of the but they're just amongst the people or trying to save the children, so forth and so more. But I'm like, yo, look, if you unless you a FBI or a police officer or something like that, what will possess you to be a part of something that you honestly don't believe in but people do it every day you know people are in school they don't really care about learning people are at work they don't really care about or passionate about the work they do whatever you know people do it every day that's just an imposter that's a lifestyle of an imposter somebody who is presenting themselves as true and faithful or believer and honest and sincere and pious but in all actuality, when the cameras go off, when the lights is out, and when they to themselves, they're just w- as wicked as the next man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it says, but evil people and imposters will flourish. They will deceive others and themselves be deceived. So it's a dirty game out here. And your mind is the go- your mind is gold to an imposter, to an evil man. To 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 Yahweh Shai, your mind is gold. If you give it to him, he could bless you. He could reward you. All right. And so let's continue. Because of this, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Hebrews 12 and 4. <clears throat> the title is a father's discipline. It says, Yet ye have not resisted unto blood, striving against sin. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children my son so we are children being exhorted meaning built up it's not just something where you i'm 35 years old i don't need nobody to tell me i'm a grown ad that don't work here you can return them back to the lord as children and children need correction right that's why it goes on despise not thou the chastening of the lord what is the chastening of the lord sometimes it's resisting unto blood Sometimes it's dealing with enough anguish and, and hostility from deceived and evil people who are waxing worse that they'll take it upon themselves and make sure that you die for believing in what you believe in. As they did, Yahweh shot, crucify, crucify, and let his blood be upon us and our children. These are the type of the temperament of the people who we have to deal with on a regular basis, let alone, you know, some who 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 deceitfully uh uh, are imposters amongst you so i'm gonna I'm a pretty much leave it here you know uh, uh, you know call her lawyer me how about you me i was shy you know it's time for work so till next time shalom